Hi everyone and welcome to FXDD webinar. Today is educational webinar. It's Thursday. My name is Leonard and I'm going to cover introduction to price action trading. So the price action trading uh, has been my trademark and I've been doing uh, price action since uh, 2010. And uh, I think in my opinion, the uh, price action is absolutely very, very valid to give you consistent uh, success in Forex trading and uh, consistent uh, results, positive results. Of course, uh, price action is not easy, but uh, that is why we have this series of webinars, educational webinars that uh, I'm going to do with you. So we'll help you and I will help you to actually cover all important things, important things from the introduction to price action over uh, expert at and advanced uh, price action trading analysis and education. Before we start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. And of course, leverage creates additional risk and loss exposure. If you are in doubt, please educate yourselves on the risk associated with Forex trading. And have in mind that everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Uh, use these web addresses to sign up for more webinars, live trading, and of course, live education. Today's agenda is what is price action, trend, momentum, retracement, entry pattern, and managing your emotions. So this is what we will cover today. And if you have any questions, guys, do not hesitate to ask. And if anything is not clear, do not hesitate to leave the comments below the video because th this video is being recorded and it will be uploaded to YouTube channel. So let's start with basics. What is price action trading? Uh, price action trading is tr effectively trading that is based on the price reading. Uh, it can be very subjective. Because of that, it requires experience and it requires patience. Price action is technical and chart pattern analysis, which attempts to find order in sometimes seemingly random movement of the price. Have in mind that price is not moved randomly. Every time the price moves, it tends to be either in a trend or a retracement moment. Very often you will see the range and it means that the price is in a sort of congestion phase waiting for a breakout to happen. Every trend needs to have a retracement. Every downtrend needs also to have a retracement. Why? Because price tends to be in equilibrium. The equilibrium is the balance of supply and demand. And uh, fortunately for us, we can actually make pips and make money based on these market movements that are everything but not random. Swings that are highs and lows usually test broken and now moment support and resistance. And after they test it, they form usually either a trend or a counter trend movement. When it ends, we see so-called consolidation. Consolidation is the phase before next price movement. The candlestick and price bars are very important tools for analyzing the price action because traders can benefit from visualizing the price movement. My favorite, favorite uh, chart is Japanese candlesticks. Although I've been trading also with uh, bars, also I've been using uh, from time to time Heikeneshi range bars, but at least in my experience, none of them has provided me with such a good result as price action and candlesticks. My Camarilla Magdi method that I've been doing uh, and trading for many, many years has been, has been withstanding the test of time. And I can always show you my results. And I, again, encourage you to come to my live trading videos also with FXDD and uh, just sign up and see how I trade live. Everything that I talk uh, and that I've been talking about is actually based on my experience. 
So that is why I prefer Japanese candlestick and price section. For example, candlestick patterns such as harami pattern, engulfing pattern, cross, pin bars are all examples of visually interpreted price section. Why it's important? Because when you use candlesticks, you will always find uh, buyers and sellers in now moment and in the history. And one of the most important things in uh, Forex trading is that history repeats itself. So if you saw that buyers were buying the price in, let's say, from a level that was valid a month, two months, three months, a year ago, it means that also in now moment, buyers might be buying the price again from the same level or the same zone. That is one of the universal rules in market. History buyers and historical buyers and sellers meet now moment buyers and sellers unfortunately not of uh, not many traders will tell you these things because uh, very very few of them actually compare now moment to historical price action well again it's been one of my trademarks and i will always doing that with pretty much result that is approximately 70 to 80 percent of success regarding my camarilla MACD mtf method price action is everything that a price does and just like every other facet of analysis it's guys purely subjective that is why many traders might see the same thing but they will not do and they will not interpret the things the same way so price action trading along with price action analysis is highly subjective that is why I encourage you to always test some systems or methods. Forget about purely indicator-based trading. Long term, I don't think it can give you success if you are manually trading it. If you're using expert advisors, again, most of expert advisors are either based on algorithmic algo trading, high-frequency trading, or some strategies that heavily involve strict money management rules, very specific money management rules and risk management rules and tons of indicators that have been coded into the system itself by price action uh, I, uh, I i personally think that price action is the basis of successful trading you might be trading uh, other things such as i don't know indicator based systems range bars uh, point and figure charts uh, something that it's not strictly to do with price action. But if you want to be successful trading, one of the things that you should really learn about is price action. That is why I'm giving you this introduction to just signify how price action is extremely important for you, even though you might not be trading it in, in this, at this moment. Price action reflects momentum. Momentum is the most important thing for intraday and intraweek traders, especially for intraday traders. Not so much for intraweek because intraweek traders don't really need to use momentum in market uh, in the way that we intraday traders do. Price action trading takes care of support and resistance levels, Fibonacci and support and resistance levels confluence, breakouts, chart patterns, candlestick formations, and of course, bounces of important price action indicators and tools, such as Bollinger Bands, moving averages, and pivot points. Because this is introduction, introductionary webinar to price action trading, we will cover the most important things regarding price action in this webinar. But during the next several months, you will be able to learn from me a lot of good price action expert and advanced methods, both for analysis and both for trading. But this webinar is very important for you to understand the basic principles of price action trading, what it is and why it's so important. All of these things like support resistance levels, Bollinger Bands, moving averages, pivot points are very, very important in my trading and in the way how I trade. I personally think that multiple time frame analysis is a must for successful price action trading. 
And again, I'm speaking from my personal opinion because my results actually are telling me that without multiple or MTF analysis, multiple time frame analysis, I wouldn't be that successful or I don't know if I would be successful at all. I've been using multiple time frame analysis since 2011 and since I started uh, on Forex Factory by the nickname Tarantula, I've been really using this MTF analysis and this is uh, how I come to be a bit more known in the world of Forex trading on Forex Factory, especially later Forex Street, very important websites for all Forex traders by using actually MTF trading, MTF methods and analysis. This is how I do it. The highest time frame for the analysis and trading is used for trend. So if we do multiple time frame analysis, we need to do the sequence trend, momentum, retracement and entry. Trend is the most important on a higher time frame. The middle time frame is used for momentum and the lowest time frame is used for retracement and entry. Remember that. The highest time frame is used for trend. So if you are trading on one hour time frame, we will be using daily chart for trend, four hour for momentum, one hour for retracement and entry. Trend is effectively a series of trust and pullback motion. So when you see that market is making trust, pullback, trust, pullback, it means that the price is in a trend. Trust and pullback motion uh, is also known as a zigzag. So zigzag is not just an indicator on the MT4 platform. I, for example, use the term zigzag in my analysis, my trading uh, explanation, uh, where the term zigzag is actually a trend motion, a series of thrusts and pullbacks. Thrust and pullback. Because each trend is uh, needs to have a retracement. Remember my words from the beginning of the webinar. Price needs to be in the equilibrium. And that retracement means that the price is going back to the equilibrium. Because central banks will always intervene if they think that their respected currency is out of control. Right, guys? So every time you see that market is making up move or down move, you wait. Wait for a retracement. And then use higher time frame trend and momentum to get into the move. Remember, guys. Again, I'm not bragging. I'm giving you statistical facts. Above 60, 65 percent of success is needed. Even if your risk to reward is one to one, it doesn't matter. If you're 65 percent at least successful, even without a good risk to reward, you will be profitable. And in intraday trading, guys, it's very important that you use higher time frame trend and momentum for cherry picking the entry on a lower time frame. So remember that. Zigzag is trend movement. Uptrend is a series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay, higher highs and higher lows, while downtrend is series of lower highs and lower lows. So this is how it looks. I will open uh, the platform and I will open the daily time frame just to show you a trend movement. Okay, give me a few seconds. This is it. So a series of trust and pullback forms a trend. This is trust. This is pullback. This is trust. This is pullback. This is trust. This is pullback. See the zigzag pattern. Trust pullback. Downtrend is a series of lower highs and lower lows. While uptrend is a series 
of higher highs, higher lows. Higher highs, higher lows. Zigzag, guys. This is zigzag. You see how price is zigzagging when there is a trend. During consolidation phase, we usually see no, no, nothing that will uh, actually give us a sign of action. This is consolidation before next move. See? So, trend for intraday traders is used on a daily time frame. Okay. If anything is not clear, do not hesitate to ask or leave the comment below the video when it's uploaded to YouTube. For intraday trading, sequence is daily for trend, four hour time frame for momentum, one hour time frame for retracement and entry. For swing trading, we use weekly for trend, daily for momentum, four hour for retracement and entry. Trend is determined on a highest time frame in a scale of three. So I use multiple time frame analysis of three time frames. Not I know that some traders use every single time frame they can find on MT4, like uh, drilling down from monthly to one minute. I don't do it. I do only with three. For me, guys, had three time, uh, three uh, the sequence of three consecutive time frames is more than enough. It's perfect for me. And I haven't been, and I haven't changed it since 2011, guys. So, like eight years of trading, full time trading, totally, totally. Uh, I'm, I'm totally into this. So, I know what I'm speaking and I know what I'm talking about. If you want to see results, if you want to see how I trade, just sign up, guys, for webinars. Also, you will see live trading in action, Try three time frame analysis. That is what Camarilla Magdio is also based on. Within any trend, there are also smaller trends that make up the, for the whole trend. So what it means is, in this trend here, let me show you, there are also a number of mini trends. For example, guys, now, see, this is effectively downtrend, right? Effectively. If you drill down to 15 minutes, then you will see also there is a downtrend now. But a few days uh, ago, it was actually uptrend. So you see, high time frames always have more strength because the moment will be always better in trend direction until trend is reversed, of course, because every trend has an end. But during the trend, you will see a lot of retracements that can be used to actually give you an entry. So if, if, if daily is in downtrend, we would be actually selling, let's see, a daily now okay we will use i will uh, mark the quadrant guys here so we will use this price action from this spot to this spot because now we actually have the break as price made a high here this was the series from this spot this was the series of actually from this spot the series of trend movement like lower lows okay and lower highs from this spot to this spot all of this i will delete and within this price action here within this quadrant that has actually been starting from 14 of june till uh, 18 of january we see a downtrend on daily if we go to one hour time frame okay guys this is one hour time frame june you see every rally has been used to sell into it okay watch this there was a minor uptrend on one hour, but generally this has all been used to sell on rallies. See, every pullback has been sold. You see, zigzag. See how it goes like this, bang. It goes up retracement, then bang, they just nail it. So that is why on for intraday traders, this is very, very important daily four hour one hour sequence okay again this is my opinion and my camarilla make the mtf uh, method is based on this it uses all of this that i'm talking about a few more moving averages but actually i am a big and very devoted trend follower and i always follow the big 
fish, the shark. Because if I go counter the shark, the shark might, might eat me. If I follow the shark, I eat the remnants of, of uh, the shark's food. And guys, major banks are at the top of the food chain in Forex market. They will eat your account if you are not following big money or big fish. Forget about counter trend trading all the time. You might go counter trend from time to time. But I have never, ever made money by going counter trend. Always following the big fish, patiently waiting for an entry, and I time the entry. We will be talking about timing because timing is also one of the most important things. You need to know when to pull the trigger. You need to know when to stay out. Just be patient. That is why we have these educational webinars. We cannot learn everything in a short time period. Again, this is a trend, guys. You see? Trust pullback. Trust pullback. Trust pullback. Trend. Again, mark this screen. Watch this webinar as many times as you like. Remember this. You need to know this literally every time. This is a downtrend. High, low. Lower, high, lower, low. Lower, high, lower, low. Then this was the change of the trend. This is when trend has changed. Actually, that is happening here too now on this market. The trend has changed here. See, above this moving average. And this is the high, this is the high low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, high, low, and so on. Okay, momentum. Momentum is needed for intraday trades. Without momentum, guys, you will be stuck in a trade and the trade won't go anywhere. I always say, it's better to lose a trade than to be stuck in a trade that it's not going anywhere. Because as, uh, for me, it's not a problem. But for new traders, they might actually close their uh, uh, their uh, uh, their trade and then open another trade in, in, in an opposite direction. What it means, they are trying to catch some small movement that is not momentum. Actually, they're trying to catch the range. It's not good. Usually, trend following methods are disastrous during ranging markets. All those uh, moving average crossover systems will kill your account during ranging markets. And most of them will actually be successful in trending markets. But have in mind that trend is present like maybe 40% of the time in the market, depending, guys, on the time frame. As I'm saying, I'm watching daily four hour, one hour. So 30, 40 percent of the time we see a trend. If I don't see a trend, I don't trade that market. Fortunately, there are so many markets, and I'm talking really about forex market. So many markets to choose from. So you will be always having a trade. You don't need to trade euro dollar only. I trade whatever I see. For me, I don't care if it's euro dollar or New Zealand dollar dollar cat or GBPN or GBP Australian dollar or dollar yen or dollar Norwegian crown. Market is a market, guys. Just think about this. Price action is the king. Price action is everything. Okay. Momentum is the core of price action. And momentum in my trading is always in the middle time frame so it means if i'm trade tra if i watch trend on daily four hour is momentum time frame or for swing traders weekly strength daily is momentum okay four hour retracement and entry on intraday one hour time frame is retracement and entry it's called multiple time frame analysis the analysis of three time consecutive time frames and what we do is actually we are drilling down the time frames and remember guys momentum precedes trend because when momentum happens the trend will either continue or the trend might change so that is why it's important to watch all three time frames retracement loss of momentum equals retracement a lot of traders simply don't know how to define a retracement. In three simple words or two, loss of momentum e equals retracement. 
Retracement is the pound in the lowest time frame, and retracement precedes entry. Why? Because we are actually piggy, we are piggybacking momentum and trend to entry time frame. Piggyback is, you know, guys, when you're carrying over something, the word, word in English, when you're carrying over something, it's called piggyback, right? And you are actually, you do piggyback, like you are actually using high time frame trend and momentum to cherry pick the entry on a lower time frame. So that is why it's important to understand that uh, retracement and entry are done on lower time frames. Remember, retracement precedes entry. Okay. Now, this is just an introduction, guys. I, I, I mean, I could write two books about price action, and maybe one day I will do it, but now we really don't have a time for that. So this is most important for introduction. The thing that I left also for the end is managing emotions, guys. These are most important things that price action is telling you to, to, to pay attention to and to avoid losing trades and bad timing as much as possible. WD Gann, famous trader, said timing is more important than your system. I would say that system is important if you incorporate the timing into your trading routine. But definitely, timing is something that is extremely important. Not just the timing, but watching the price action. Forget about all this uh, stuff about, no, guys, trading is simple if you know what you're doing. You don't need to have tons of indicators to tell you, is it a ranging market? Is it a trending market? Is it indecision? Is this a reversal or retracement? Guys, watch the candlestick. Candlesticks are your chosen time frame, guys, of entry. Because I trade like that. If you visit my live trading room also on our channel, Telegram channel also, and my FXDD live trading webinars each week, you will see my system in action. It gives me the arrows, and I, as a trader, assess each signal from my system to be a trade or to trade or not to trade, right? Indecision is done by doji candles. If you see these candles, it doesn't matter. This is bullish, this is bearish. This means that this is in the in the CZ market. There is no way to tell where a market will break out to. So the time is to close your trade and wait. These are indecision candles. When you see that the body is in the middle of wicks, long black dodgy, gravestone dodgy, dragonfly dodgy, four piece dodgy, guys, all these dodgy candles that looks like crosses, that looks like stops, that looks like uh, X's or uh, like big, big uh, pin bars with a small body. Those are in the CZ candles. Do not trade them. While Maribozu gives a strong pressure, if you see big bullish spike, big bearish spike, wait, guys. Because after the spike, there will be usually most of the time a retracement that will give you a much better entry than if you jump into a fright train. So managing your emotions while watching the charts and candlesticks is one of price action trademarks. You need to know when to pull the trigger, to calm down, be patient, and wait for the trade to come to you. Because the, the market is like a shadow. If you run, you will never catch it. If you stand still, it will come to you. Also, pin bar buyers uh, give us rejection pressure. These are pin bars, my favorite patterns. When I see a pin bar in my method or my system, 80% uh, of the time, I would pull the trigger if everything is aligned. Time, uh, trend, momentum, uh, retracement, and some tools for entries like uh, Bollinger Band rejection, T89 pattern, or a pin bar. One of the most important things. That is when I'm calm and I'm ready and I'm ready to trade. It doesn't mean that I will enter with 10% of risk on my account. Guys, managing the risk is managing your emotions. Crucial for trading. You need to be professional. Trade with low risk and accumulate it. Pin bar actually can also give you a seller and selling pressure. This is selling pressure on a pin bar. Okay. And this is just one of counter trend tools that we will cover into future webinars it's called high wave selling high wave pattern when you see that uh, that uh, 
sellers are joining, you can also join too with a high rate. But again, you need to manage your emotions because each time you see an entry doesn't mean that you need to put all your money into a trade. You need to wait and be patient. Okay, high rate buying. Again, when price is going, you wait for retracement, okay, and make an entry. Flat market, wait, it's in the season market. You wait for the breakout. Whipsaw, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just delete the chart. You don't need to trade the market uh, which is making whipsaw price action. Because whipsaw price action, especially if done on higher time frames, guys, will bring your account to pieces. Trading, uh, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying. You keep the trade. You don't make any profits. You're just closing trade uh, in, in a losses because in a loss because you think that market now finally will be ready to take off no whip saw markets especially on higher time frames are disastrous for your account so it's always very very important to manage your emotions and one final thing guys before we call it a day remember these things for price action momentum precedes trend loss of trend momentum is called a retracement Retracement precedes entry. Out of three time frames, entry is always found in the lowest time frame when you're doing multiple time frame analysis. If you're doing my MTF analysis as I do, trend is the highest time frame. Momentum is the middle time frame. Entry is the lowest time frame. And each trend has an end in this pattern. Trend, retracement, reversal, start of new trend. Because especially, guys, when market is volatile and when there is some big news coming in or some big news is expected, trend can change, but not before retracement has turned into a reversal. And that is one of the things that we will also cover during uh, our next one of next sessions, uh, how to spot the change of a trend. I hope that you enjoyed the webinar course if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask me if anything is not clear just drop a, a message below the video or send me an email and i will gladly answer it until next webinar guys i wish you very safe trading i wish you all uh, to have the best possible trades join my live sessions see how i do it and relax this is beautiful thing but just Psychologically, you need to be quite calm and do not rush into trades, guys. Managing your emotions is crucial. Thank you for listening. As always, guys, trade safe.